Okay, so in this video what I wanted to show you is how the uh, hybrid reality capture powered by flash technology uh, designed or made by Faro actually works and uh, what's required to make it work. I have a uh, Faro premium scanner that I have a um, Ricoh Theta Z1 camera attached to. That's a requirement. Without the camera this will actually not work. You have to have a subscription to the flash um, functionality also. I happen to have all of these prerequisites. I'll show you how to uh, make it work on the stream app. So I am currently connected to the scanner, as you can see over here in my settings. So if I switch over to the Faro stream app, it's a new installation, so it wants to use analytics and blah, blah, blah. It's okay, but I'm connected to uh, or fired up the actual uh, app. Uh, you can see at the very top over here, it shows me that I'm connected to the scanner. This is great, but if I try to actually scan and I switch over to uh, my profiles, the uh, flash scan option at the bottom over here says log into your Sphere account. I'm connected to the scanner via a ad hoc connection, which means I don't have internet access. In order to uh, satisfy this requirement, what I'll do is I'll switch over to my settings and I'll go uh, pick a network that I know has internet. So disconnecting essentially from the scanner. Go back to the app over here and at the top a toolbar over here you have this little cloud icon which allows you to log in. So I'll go ahead and log into my um, Fero Sphere account. Remember my name, my password luckily and you have to select your actual workspace. I happen to be, uh, I happen to have the license associated with the DiCarlo EU account, so we'll hit OK. Done. This is it. There's nothing else you need to do. Now we can move back and uh, reconnect to the scanner again, and you'll see that just by connecting to the Ferro Sphere account and disconnecting from it afterwards, when I go back into the settings and my profiles, that are on my scanner here, scan profile. Once I'm connected, now you see the Sphere license uh, is now valid, valid for the following 359 days, and I can actually choose it to use for scanning. The first time you use it on every project, it'll ask you to do a calibration scan, which is not totally necessary, but recommended. So what I'll do is I'll actually hit yes over here, and I will let the scanner do its calibration scan. The calibration scan I would probably get out of the room for or just hide because it's unnecessary for you to be causing your own noise here, but for the sake of the video I'll just sit tight and wait till it's finished. Okay, seems like it's actually finished and it's not just a wasted uh, calibration scan, it's actually a scan that you can now use for registration. So. You see in the app, it's already my first scan over here. So uh, now I can proceed and just uh, place my scanner in a new position where I want to create another scan app. I already selected the flash profile there, so I'll just hit play. And what it'll do is, you'll see it'll fire up the scanner and uh, uh, record in 28 seconds both the imagery and the actual scan. You can see in the app, it's actually building the outline and it will register them together. All right, scan number essentially two is finished. We'll pick it up and we'll move it to a new location here. Again, hit just the play button on the app and uh, wait for the scan to be done. So it's in the corner over there. Okay, registered. Now, uh, an important thing to understand is you don't have to keep the same settings you know, throughout your project. You can oh, go ahead and now decide, hey, I want to do a higher resolution scan. You might want to go into your profile and just switch to a different standard scan profile like I just selected the accelerated profile. So we'll move the scanner here and have it start scanning. 
scanning. And wait for it. So mixing and matching settings is uh, not a big deal at all. It's about overlapping data, and if you have enough overlapping data, the registration will work, and hopefully the data will look uh, satisfactory to you with the amount of uh, new positions that you're using. Interestingly enough, the uh, flash profile obviously differentiates itself by having a different icon on the app, so you can see a standard scan has a little blue dot, a flash scan has a little flash icon in the center of it, and again, we have uh, another standard scan. So two standard scans, two flash scans, and now it's just a matter of repeating the same process over and over again. So for the sake of uh, this video, this is it for the demonstration. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below.